How accurate is RTK GNSS when using subscription-based corrections? A few months ago, I spent a week traveling across North America measuring the coordinates of government control monuments to determine the accuracy of RTK GNSS when using corrections provided by various subscription providers. I found and measured 16 control monuments from the east coast of Florida to the west coast of Canada. Each monument was measured three times at a five second duration and three times at a 30 second duration. I then came back and repeated the measurement scheme on a different day. I used Geodnet, Leica's SmartNet, Florida's FPRN, and Trimble's RTX, which isn't actually real-time kinematic, but a method of real-time precise point positioning. For hardware, I used either a Trimble R12i or a Leica Icon ICG160T, both with freshly calibrated IMUs. To to determine the accuracy, the measured coordinates were compared to the government provided coordinates for each monument. There was not a significantly large difference between the accuracy of the subscription providers and the average horizontal accuracy of the 5 second observations were 23 millimeters or 76 thousandths of a foot and the average vertical accuracy was 29 millimeters or 95 thousandths of a foot. There was a marginal increase in accuracy for the 30 second observations in the range of just a few millimeters. For a deeper dive on this experiment, check out the GNSS Corrections Compared video on my YouTube channel.